Welcome to part 10. In this video, we're going to create a form for authoring new tweets. So we're going to, we have this homepage so far that we built in the last video. We're going to make a little form over here that allows us to uh, yeah, uh, we'll, we make a form right here that allows us to create a new tweet. So down here, just make a new form. Make a field set. Now this form method is post and the action is home.php, so it reloads the page. Or actually, no, we're going to make a file called create underscore tweet.php. That's going to send our tweet there. So label for um, tweet. What's happening? Like it says on the real Twitter website, as the prompt for a new tweet. We're going to close that out, make a break, and then we're going to make a little text area. Name equals body. I'm gonna give it four rows and fifty columns. And we also want a button. That allows us to send our tweet to the internet. So save that. Uh, that's what we're dealing with. So you can write in this box. Great. Now now we have to write create tweet.php. So go to this file. And it's just gonna be some PHP. That's pretty straightforward. What we're essentially gonna do is we're gonna take take the variables. So we're gonna session start. Going to require dbconnect.php. Now let's see if if the post variable has the body property, which is the body of our tweet. If it doesn't have that, then we're gonna we're gonna exit. We're not gonna do anything. But if there is a body to find, we're going to get the user's ID from the session. We're going to get the user's data by asking the database for this user. So find one where the ID is equal to our user ID variable. And our body is the first 140 characters of the post property, of, uh, the body property in the post variable. And we're also going to create a timestamp. Like this. So we'll be using your month date format. Then let's see hours, seconds, and finally we're going to author this new tweet. We're just going to send it to the tweets collection. Insert one. There's going to be a new variable, a new array. For readability, I'll just split it up like this. So let's see going to set an author ID field. We're going to say author ID is user underscore ID. We're going to save the author's name. We're going to save the body of the tweet. And we're going to save the timestamp. Uh, 
And if that worked, we're just going to redirect the person to home.php. So that should work. Let's see. Tweet. OK, so we have a syntax error. No semicolon here. OK, so it looks like it redirected us, so that's a good sign. But we don't see anything. So in the next video, we'll uh, construct the profile page so you can look at the tweets that you've made.